Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. <laughs> Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Goop says some choose to be lonely because no one understands what they're going through. If that's you, he'll try to help you if you let him. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honored. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? At least you learned that you'll drown if you don't swim. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know. Practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Oh, 
He wonders what usefulness you found. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left lying around on the ground. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. Andro? You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Morning, then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. He 
as someone close to heart, doing what he does best? He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left forgotten at the bottom of a pile of recyclables. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It's intended. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Amu. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. Amu. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Andro? Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. Andro? You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Catchy. Andro? Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. 
A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop Luca Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Mooma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience 
is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Tribes caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidut outpost. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Mercy is for the weak. The Jagni tribe seek no one's sympathy. <laughs> 